Shit I slide into, fuck you, bring it to the desert, tell you be cool. <clears throat> Hold all the pistols, roll by the cops and oh, baby. Oh, guys, can't you line this shit once again? I'm tired, but I'm still making these videos for y'all because you know I gotta put up new content and I wanna elaborate on these series a little bit. I've actually had quite a few uh, requests, replies, things like that. People don't comment for some reason, but I always get like PMs. So whatever. Anyways, um so today's topic is gonna be how do I get girls to notice me? It's simple. It's very simple. <clears throat> you want... You want to convey... You want to convey that you are of someone that they would be interested in. Okay? Now, if you're trying to pick up girls and you, like, want to slut, go to the bars. By all means, go to clubs. Go to where you know girls with loose morals are going to be, basically. If you want, like, a smart, geeky type that's sexy as hell, good luck. Um, you know, one in a thousand, maybe. Well, I guess, like, one in a couple hundred, but still. It, our, you know, our the way uh, this town's set up, it's kind of hard. But anyway, you want a girl to notice you. Okay. You have to carry yourself well, honestly. I get told that a lot. I carry myself well. I speak uh, very properly. I'm tired right now, so I mean, I'm not enunciating like I should. You talk like a slob, people are gonna consider you a slob. You need to enunciate, speak every word clearly and slowly, like it's carefully thought out. If you carry yourself well, people will notice this. You know, not like popping out, but you know, back straight, you know, chest, what may be. You know, you don't actually have to carry your head up high, you know, no low. I know I've been over this, but just carry yourself like you are somebody, like you've accomplished something in your life. You'll notice this. If you ever look like ex-military guys, they have confidence because, you know, they've done obstacles. They've been through uh, certain stressful situations. They've done obstacle courses, things like that. You know, they've accomplished things in a life that they can be proud of. You know, if you're just like some average Joe that still works at Walmart or something, no offense. You know, obviously you probably haven't lived life as much as, you know, a soldier that you know may or may not have gone overseas or say his country or whatever just saying that how you hold yourself in regards other people see that and off of that perception they can gauge you and now if I came up to you and said hi sir how are you how are you doing you know or my name is Matt what's your name obviously it'd be a lot different than what's up dude what's up my nigga what you doing what you up to son what you hold on you know let me hold something that would be retarded Obviously, I don't speak it well, because I'm not that type. I carry myself better than that. I'm not saying I'm better, I'm just saying I carry myself differently, you know. Some dude comes up like that on me, I'm automatically going to have my hand in my jacket just because, one, he knows that, and he knows that I have my hand in my jacket, so he don't know if I have something or not. I could be carrying a weapon, I could not be. He don't know, and we're going to keep it like that. Even though he didn't see it, he still perceived that I might be of danger to him, okay? Now, he's used to that environment. I know he's used to that environment, so I'm going to do that because I know he's used to it and he knows, he doesn't know whether or not I have something, okay? Same as any other place you go. You go to a proper place of business, dressed like a scrub, they're not going to take you seriously, they might just take you out. Um, it's just things like that, you know, you want to dress proper. Even yeah, I'm not saying dress khakis and a dress shirt, you know, but, you know, nice pair of jeans and a dress shirt. Business casual, you know, nice pair of shoes, nothing too scuffed up, you know. Um, speaking of shoes, that's a topic for another day, but I will show you how I clean my shoes just because, you know, I'm still, I consider myself a scrub even though, you know, I have a car and a job and a place and all that stuff. Um, but that's just, you know, how I perceive myself. You got to stay humble about things. That's the other thing. Um, you may, your ego may be inflated from time to time because you will notice, you know, girls talk to you, you know, things like that. Um, but you got to stay humble. Girls love humble dudes, you know. Girls that like jackasses, that like assholes, they may like him for the time being, but they're soon going to realize that he is just what he is, an asshole, okay? But if you're humble about it, you know, you joke a little bit, you kill a little bit, you push and then you pull, you know, 
you're gonna realize that girls are a little easier to talk to, you know. Even if they expect an asshole, you can make fun of them a little bit, push, show them that, you know, you don't mind hurting them a little bit, but showing them also that you're willing to receive a little bit, you know. You joke with them, they joke with you. You know, it works on that emotional bond, that mental connection. So, uh, if you want a girl to get, to be, um, to notice you, you have to hold yourself well. I mean, wherever I go, I'm usually in like pants and a dress shirt and like shades on, and I get trimmed up usually. So I look pretty decent. I look okay, in my opinion. I don't know. I've met girls for the first time. You know, I'll take them out to drinks later, or I'll stop by their place later, or you know, we'll we'll set up a, a later engagement. And they'll be like, the first thing I noticed about you was you carried yourself well. You know, you talked to me like a person. You didn't say, you know, what's up, girl? Can I get them digits? You know, you didn't spend no lines. And I automatically reply with, well, if I spit game to you, would you have taken me seriously? I'm like, no, not really. Now, obviously, it differs from region to region, but how you carry yourself, how you talk to others, it is perceived and is understood. And if you want to be seen as that, you need to carry yourself like that. You need to carry yourself as though you are somebody worth talking to. You may be a scrub, but you know what? They don't know that, and you could be working on it. You could be looking for a job, because looking is better than sitting on your ass doing nothing. That's just the way it is, you know? I really don't care if I offend you on that one, because if you're sitting on your ass right now, and you have no job, no car, you know, and you're spending someone else's money, and you wonder why they're always mad at you. Take a good fucking hard guess. So anyways, so that's going to be a real quick, uh, my introspective view on how to get girls to notice you. Um, honestly, look up, um, look up anything, any morale boosting, any, anything that you feel will build self-confidence. So basically self-confidence skills, Google it. I guarantee you they'll help because it's all about confidence. It really is. Confidence is key. That's my number one thing. Confidence is key. All right, girls find confidence sexy. It's just the way it is. I mean, I just went to, uh, I just went to Taco Bell and I was sitting there and I was like, this girl's kind of cute. You know, she's too young for me, but still, that don't mean I can't smile at her and make her laugh a little bit, you know? So, you know, I just, I just said some stuff. I'm like, listen, can you just let us know um, before you kick us out, she's, and she just kind of smiled a little bit and laughed. She's like, yeah, for sure. I'll let you know. And I'm like, all right then, peace. And you know, I just, I didn't wink or nothing. I just, you know, gave her a little look and she just started laughing. She's like, huh. but you know, that's just how I do things. Um, I understand I'm, you know, I'm, I, I am a little vain. I'm, I'll totally admit that, but so is the world. So if you don't look the best, you know, you're going to have to work on it, unfortunately. Even me, I, even though I don't work out well, you know, I don't work out a lot, I still try to fit it in somehow, at least once a week, at least. You know, my cardio is shit. You can't get me to run down the block. But you put a dog or a cop behind me, pfft, my ass is gone, you know? You ain't gonna see me. Um, but you know what? I can do 20 pull-ups. I can do, like, 80 push-ups, you know? Which is down from what I could do. But I'm not saying you have to be at my level. And if you are above my level, you know, congrats. By all means, that's awesome. But I'm just saying, you got to have that confidence. And it's going to suck, but it's meant to suck. That's the way it is. Working out isn't fun. It, it gets fun after a while, after you get used to it, you, you get the endorphins running and stuff. But that's just the way it is. Life in general sucks, all right? But you got to learn how to pick those moments and have fun in those moments. Because that's what life is. It's a bunch of moments. And you just got to revel in those moments. Personal philosophy. So you just got to learn how to have fun in life. So anyways, that's basically what it comes down to. I know it kind of shotguns everywhere, but um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below and I will answer those or you can PM me and I will PM you back if you're a little shy. It's totally fine with me. I don't mind. Um, I'm actually kind of shy myself. So, you know, that's just me. That's just how I do. So that'll be it for now, guys. And uh, I'll see you later. All right.